So API keys are a way that you can interact with FusionAuth. FusionAuth is API first. Almost all functionality that is possible to do in this administrative backend system is possible via APIs. This UI itself uses the APIs. You can set up an API key. You can either use the generated random value, or if you have existing API keys that you want to not change, or values that you want to set in certain environments so that you have well-known values, you can set that as well. You can add a description. You may specify which tenant the API key is for, either all tenants or a specific one. And then you can limit API keys by endpoints. So each endpoint here corresponds to a piece of functionality. If I wanted to limit this API key to only being able to read applications or application data, I could do that. If you leave all of the endpoint permissions unchecked, if you don't limit the API key in any way, then it becomes a super user key which can be used for any API operation.